Welcome back to the Super Sunday Challenge, and my goodness, has it been a ride the last couple of weeks. I have been thrown the worst words under the planet, it seems, by a variety of applications. Thank you so much for all your lovely and useful comments as well. A lot of people suggesting that we may need to be throwing, you know, changing the order of the games, maybe move Murdo up to the front, uh, because we do keep failing on Murdo. I'll tell you what, you might be onto something on the original Super Sunday Challenge, the 12 game version, Myrtle was always first up. For that very reason, if you just have managed to get a word that has none of the kind of hits in that, gonna not do very well. So let's see. I am not gonna change the format this week, though. I'm determined to do slightly better than the last two disasters, quite frankly. So 40 minutes on the clock, the same order of games. Hopefully, slightly kinder words. Three, two, one. Spottle, look at this, right? Oh, look at this pattern. Well, I've got to think that E's got to be at the end. Okay, so it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to run any word with E at the end just to see what's going on. Right, no E, fine. I think we want maybe an A. Maybe, we definitely need a vowel. Maybe even a couple of vowels. I mean, you could run with audio. That could be interesting. Audio at least then gives two vowels. A little bit wasteful. All right, let's do it. Only O's. I'll take it. Now we desperately need consonants. I'm thinking something like butch, maybe. T-C-H. Maybe bound. I think that's a lot of common letters. Let's go. Wow, nothing. Absolutely nothing. I think we want L, potentially. Tempted to actually just run Bounds. I'm worried about that D. Possibly S. All right, let's go with found. See what we get here, because I want some placement. <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean, wow. It could be something like spool, couldn't it? At least we've ruled out lots and lots of vowels. Double O's are quite common, though. I'm tempted just to run spool. But having a little think about whether there's anything else that we want to kind of get in the mix. The spool or spook isn't there at this point. I kind of want that L though. That's the only thing. I want that L and the L being at the end. Maybe like something like blood or something. If we do blood or do we go for maximum amount available letters? I'm actually tempted to go swarm. It's a bit of a Hail Mary, but I feel like I want that. Oh. <gasps> Getting that W and R is fantastic. Wow. Okay. Oh, wow. Could be showy. Oh, it could be glowy. No, we need an R. I'm now thinking. Oh, no. Oh, are you kidding me? It's going to be owl, isn't it? But it's going to be prowl versus growl. Oh, we got a 50-50. We got I'm 100% certain it's going to be prowl versus growl. That is a horrible thing to have at the beginning of this. What do I think? Prowl versus ground. I mean, it literally could be either, couldn't it? Let's go, Prowl! Yes, get it! <laughs> I mean, I'll take luck. Oh. <laughs> As we move on to Myrtle. Oh, I'll tell you what, Prowl's going to be quite difficult, isn't it? Let's look at this. Oh, two letters. Two letters. This is good news. Great news, in fact. I think we want to go... No. That's not all. Oh, you know it is. It is. And we managed to get three letters. I thought it was woolly with an H, but okay. That works. We only lose uh, another life. Not double L, but what it could it be? It could be multi or mulky. Moldy. I think it could be moldy. Let's go moldy. Yes! Myrtle is conquered. And we have 33 minutes. Let's not get too excited. Ish. <laughs> I am very excited. Let's go prowl. One letter is huge. Moldy. And one that is likely to be T. Let's be honest with ourselves here. Um, O could be good. Or an S. Can't be greet. Let's run with greet anyway. All right. Not any of those. That makes that quite polarized. Ooh, let's be careful about warmer here, actually. We haven't got a lot of progress on this. That's... Bad having a stranded A there. We've got a lot of plausible letters here. Could be brunt. Could be brunt. Looking at this. N fits. U fits. B fits. Uh, T fits. Brunt. Oh my goodness. That is absolutely fantastic. Let's go with Prowl. Let's go with Moldy. Let's go with Brunt. One green is huge. But we are looking in bad shape for the other letters now. I... Uh, uh, uh. Thinking we gotta go with S at that 
point. Maybe E kind of gets in the middle. I kind of want G there. I'm gonna go potentially. Let's go with guest. No, it can't be. So it could be A R T now. Could be heart. Heart it is. I think that was excellent. Nicely worked out as we move on to polygonal mini. Let's go with prowl. Moldy. Wow. Okay. Come on, please. Brunt. That is huge. And heart. T is then going to be one of the other two. We know that's a U. That's absolutely fine. Although we don't need to run it. T is either going to be there or it's going to be there. It could be ST. Stuff. Stuff. Oh my goodness. I'm on a roll. Stuff it is. Moving on to Crystal Crossle. Let's start the clock. We know it definitely begins with B. We know O is in the second position. So it's definitely uh, B something O. And we know there's a D somewhere. We don't know where. We don't know about the L. Oh, we know N is there. Sorry. I think we're looking at blonde here. I think we're looking at blonde. It is indeed blonde. As we move on to Hardle with 27 minutes on the clock, this is super exciting, quite frankly. Super exciting. Never seen this run before. Being a little bit kinder with the words today. And we move into Hardle, which has quite a slow graphic, so that's why I would definitely want the clock off for this. Uh, right. So it either starts with P and E, which is very plausible, and there's an A somewhere in the mix or a is absolutely correct or i think it's ape ending what do we stick at the beginning it could be agape couldn't it do i just want to run agape i think i do and i'm right to do so agape is the word as we move on to fuseli in the second part this is, a colouring is inverse, blue tiles mean another letter from your guess is in that spot. Ooh, I'm not sure I really want to run the word agape for this. But I have no choice, as that is the rules. All right, I always, always, mm, okay. Blue tiles mean another letter from your guess is in that spot. Um, your guess could be any word of any length with its vowel, uh, vowels removed. Oh, kind of want to check whether P is in the mix. Because that would be hugely helpful if, if that's the case. So if we run pupillages, pupillages, then we get P-U-P-L. Um, you get this. Pupillages. There we go. Ah, pupillages. Um, given, given us a P, which is absolutely fantastic. So we know there's a definite P there, which means it's likely going to be an E or an A in the second position. No, then there isn't an A or an E in the final so but it could be things like patch, couldn't it? Patch. Lots of yeah. Alright, maybe we just run patch. That's interesting because I think that A has got to be a lie. Because if that A was in another position, another the the letters would have been blue on the first line. So I think that's got to be a lie. So it's definitely P-A-T. What is it going to be, though? Um, oh, there's an S. I didn't see it. Oh, Patsy? Oh, your guess must repeat a letter. Oh. All right. Well, let's go Patty. Right. Therefore, the word is Patsy. This is how you do it. On to pick letters Patsy. I'm not sure how that is going to be. I've had worse. I've also had better. I think we just got to go straight in with these. Yeah, help us get a little bit of shape. Now that last letter, let's look at that first. Because we have four pips on the top row. It could be an R though. Don't think it's going to be a vowel. That's the, that's the most interesting thing about it. P-R or D? P-R or D? And the second one. So the second one could be also, I think it's actually similar shape. So I think it could be R-D, could be O-R-D, or A-R-D. I think we're looking at shard. Oh, we're so close, though. S-R-D, that's pretty clutch. I think we're looking at sword now. Sword. Yes, it is. Okay. I'm getting quite good at picks letters. I, I never thought I would. Fibble is next. We've got to run with Patsy and sword. 22 minutes left on the clock. Interestingly, T's are consistent. P's are consistent. But I, I don't like those two T's. I'm tempted to run start. Just to see what's going on here. Now S feels really likely. I think we're looking at this. 
I think we're actually just looking at solidly this, but we don't actually have any of those. Then we're probably looking at possibly it is D at the end, or it's not D at all. Maybe like we run, say, Slink or something. Or it could even be Shine. It could literally be anything, couldn't it? Let's go with Shine. Now we're talking. It could be Slime. No, I think it's Smile. <laughs> I think it's Smile. Because S is definitely, yeah, it is Smile. That is hugely useful as we move on to Wordle. Slightly nervous, though. We've got some unusual letters in the mix here. I think, oh, thank goodness that E at the end. Otherwise, we are in trouble. Surely going to be okay. All right, nothing is really shouting at me right now. I would expect that I to be in third position. This is a weird thing, right? You know, thinking like bride, for example. But obviously, it can be. That's what's kind of blowing my mind right now. Something like that, but not bird with an E. Yeah, because that's not a word. I don't want to run a filler, but I also don't want to waste time. Let's go birdie. Oh, birdie's not a word. What? What are you talking about? You're talking out your rear. Let's just go bride. What? No R in second. Ridge. It's blooming ridge, isn't it? Can't believe it. <laughs> Simple words. I'm letting the pressure get to me, right? And we're on to exordal. Para. Interesting. Patsy is our first word. Sword. Huge getting that S and R. Smile. Huge getting extra greens. Ridge. Not bad. Six letters. We need to do better. Uh, I think we've got to run chunk. All new letters. Huge. We've got nine letters now. I'm tempted to run snake. No. Oh. We have shape as an option. Can't be shake, so we've kind of ruled that out. But if we go shape, K then has to be... Oh, we actually, K has to be at the beginning. But KH, unless it's khaki, doesn't go. So it's K and N, and it's S and H. Hold on, do we actually know where P is? No, we don't know where P is. Oh, sharp knife! Sharp knife! I, I, yes, it's sharp knife. Amazing. There we go. A pair of makes sense as well. I'm feeling quite confident, actually. We've got 12 minutes to go. We've had zero failures. We've got 12 minutes, 45 seconds. And we've got a lot of repeated letters. So I'm certain we should be able to get some reading on this. That is absolutely huge, just getting three letters with Patsy. Because then we go sword. Interesting. We got smile. Interesting. Ridge. Ooh. Sharp. Ooh, I'm not liking all of these twos. And then one there. I am not liking a lot of these middle numbers, but I think we've got to concentrate on Patsy because we've got one green there. Annoying, there's no crossover between Patsy and Ridge. Or indeed, Patsy and Knife. Which is really, really annoying. I'm kind of feeling, though, that it's possibly going to be an I or an E. If that's the case, that rules out R and G, R, D, G. Which has quite a snowball effect on the solve. I or E. Okay, so then, then we're saying I or E there. you got to think S is going to be involved. Just feeling S might be involved. Just looking at the pattern there. In which case, S is definitely there. And then it's I or E, meaning M and L are out. Again, if it's I or E, K, N and F are out. It could be A or P, which would provisionally put H out. There's a lot of guesswork here, to be perfectly honest with you. E could be quite interesting. Oh, we know D's out. <sighs> Ooh, you know, D's out. Does that then put W or O in? I'm going to say it puts O in. Could put P in? This is a bit of a guess here. Oh, it's tempted by tipsy. Can't be tipsy. I think it's E. All right. This is my first go, right? That P is annoying. Maybe we say that P is green. S is uh, yellow. I'm tempted just to run past E, just to swap the T and S. But I kind of don't want to do that. Um... We need to run a filler, but what is going to be our most useful filler here? 
I like pride. That cuts between lots of different words. All right, I'm going to run pride. One and one. Kind of like in P now. But then P and R would be a combination and a half, wouldn't it? Well, let's at least lock this in. I think I'm going to run out of time, which is really annoying. I've just had a splash of inspiration. I think it could be pesto, which is a horrendous word. But I'm just seeing if this fits. P-E-S-T-O. So Patsy, 100% in it. That's cool. Sword works. Smile works. Pesto just has one for the E. And then that just has two for sharp. P and S. Pesto. If I get this, then I have won the Super Sunday Challenge with about a minute to spare. Otherwise, it's abject failure. I've got no other information I can run off. I think Pride has given me the information I need. It's got to start with P. I just can't think of anything else. Is it Pesto? Pesto? Yes! Oh my goodness! Pesto is the word and we have won the Super Sunday Challenge! That is absolutely fantastic. I am stoked. I'm absolutely chuffed a bit. Wow. I mean, that's made up for the last two weeks where I've been struggling. I am extremely happy with that. And what perfect time. I was considering slightly changing the format. And it always feels bad changing the format before you got a win. Yes, the words were a little kinder today. But with words like agape and pesto, it wasn't exactly easy. So I'm quite happy with that. Prowl as well. These aren't easy words at all. So thank you so much, everybody, for your support of the Super Sunday Challenge. I absolutely love doing them. I'll be back next week with maybe some slight tweaks to the format. But in the meantime, have a lovely week and I'll see you then.